conceived and bore a son and when she saw that he was a fine baby she hid him for three months when she could hide him no longer she found a papyrus basket for him and plastered it with bitumen and pitch she put the child in it and placed it among the reeds on the bank of the river came down to bathe at the river and her attendants walked beside the river. So the woman took the child and nursed it. And when the child grew up, she brought him to Pharaoh's daughter and she took him as her son. She named him Moses because, she said, I drew him out of the water. This is the word of the Lord. I know today is Mothering Sunday and I wanted to share with you the reason that I decided to volunteer with the Children's Society. It is because I am a mum. I have two amazing, funny and quirky children who I try to guide and support every day. We laugh and we play, but there are tears in teaching. I found myself wondering who does that with children who don't have the support that mine do? And who teaches them self-worth and self-confidence to face the challenges of growing up. And those challenges increase tenfold when you are a child in poverty. Even before the pandemic struck us, the figures were striking. There are 24,415 children in South West Surrey, and 18% of those are living in poverty. That's nearly 4,500 children just in our area alone. And yet we don't have the figures that will show the impact that the pandemic will have left on our next generation. If I was to talk to you about all of the areas the Children's Society support, we would have all had frostbite and we'd be here for a very long time. So I've chosen two which are front and centre of what we do and where it is anticipated there will be an increase in the need for our support in the next 12 months. The first of these is the exploitation of children, or you may have heard it referred to as county lines in the press. This is where children are groomed with the promises of affection and the things that they need. These promises are often a thing a mother would provide, but for many reasons, either that parental figure isn't there, or 
they cannot provide what is needed. The gangs which offer friendship and sense of belonging wait until the child is reliant on them so that they can be exploited. And its exploitation is in the uh, manner of trafficking drugs or themselves or to take part in criminal activity. By the time the child realises what they are expected to do, they are too enmeshed in the uh, culture and they are, cannot leave and they are living in fear. Just last year, 5,932 children in Surrey were deemed as uh, children in need, and of those, 645 of them were considered to be at risk of exploitation. The Children's Society commissioned a report because we believe that to fix a problem, you need to understand that problem and know what it is. This report showed that for these children, help often comes too late. By the time they are identified by their local authority or the police, they are trapped in a cycle and are often viewed as offenders rather than victims, which cuts them off from even further support. We have a National Disrupting Exploitation Programme, which currently has funding for three years. We work one-to-one -one with victims across the county, with at-risk peer groups, and jointly with the police when they're going to do a raid where a victim is likely to be present. Also, we start at grassroots, working with the local schools to ensure that they consider exploitation within their safeguarding policies. We are trying to change the system and context by delivering national and local policy changes. Secondly is mental health. You will have heard about it a lot on the news. But there are 2,641 children aged 5 to 11, uh, 5 to 17, with mental health conditions in South West Surrey. This is over 10% of the children that we have in our local area. The Children's Society run uh, drop-in sessions and an open access emotional well-being hub for young people. They aim to prevent the escalation of mental health uh, issues by providing support and reducing the strain on specialist services until those can be accessed through the NHS. As a charity, we see ourselves providing the support and role of a parent, a mother. We are a lifeline for 10,000 young people through direct access to our services and millions of others through our policy, campaigning and influential work. The impact of 2020 has added emergency and complexity to our work. Children's happiness, sense of self and sense work of worth come from having people who know them, people who care about them. Those people teaching them that they are worth more than a gang's trinkets and that their problems and concerns are worth listening to. Those people help these children to find a solution together. Without these things being provided, it is no surprise that our children are reporting their lowest happiness levels in a decade. However, with your help and as a community, we can support and advise to enable all children to build that sense of self-worth and set them on the path of long-lasting growth. Mothering Sunday is a painful time for many, 
and we pray today, Lord, for all who suffer the pain of infertility or never have had the opportunity to have children, for baby loss. We pray for mothers in places of conflict and famine across the world, particularly today, mothers in Yemen.